A player we haven't really talked about lately is Kenneth Gainwell. Some news did come out about Kenneth Gainwell, about, um, quote-unquote, I'm trying to go into year two and go crazy. Uh, year one was good for me, but I feel like Coach Ariani, he knows what he got out of me. I'm coming back, and I'm going to go off. There's nothing more that I want than Kenneth Gainwell to play good into his second year. We need more. You know, Jordan Howard's not here now, so, I mean, you bring Boston Scott back. Miles Sanders coming off two crazy injuries and, you know, you know, they, I think they gave him the ball way too much in that playoff game. I think they should have. They didn't really give the ball to Boston Scott or Jordan Howard in the third quarter until the third quarter, really. So kind of upset me a little bit. They used him way too much coming off a three-week injury. But, you know, it's going to be on his shoulders this year. Now, Kenneth Gainwell, I think, is a fifth-round pick from Memphis and was a total steal, guys. Six touchdowns, uh, 33 catches of his 68 carries, 544 yards from scrimmage. A really good year for Kenneth Gainwell. Like I said, he scored, like uh, yeah, six touchdowns. So... He he played really well. Almost makes the first guy miss. I mean, he's good with the passing game. I mean, they they threw to him, you know, they threw to him a good amount of times. And I want them to do more of that. Just like Miles Sanders in his rookie year, you know, J Doug Peterson would had Miles in the passing game. I, I wish, you know, Nick would do that with these guys, but it just seems like they don't do it with Miles. They do it with Kenneth Gainwell a lot more. Kenneth Gainwell needs a lot more playing time this year. I don't care if Boston Scott's coming back. I'm I'm trying to figure out if they're going to draft a running back. They probably will at this point. I mean, I would add another body of a contract year for Miles Sanders right now that you're trying to figure out, can this guy stay healthy? Um, yeah, I I was a huge Kenneth Gainwell fan. When I heard that he was picked in the fifth round when I was watching that stream the, the, you know, last year, I, I said, wow, you just got a guy that's a dual threat running back. Um, and like I said, he doesn't have some – you know, crazy, you know, run style. He's pretty average run style, but he's good at what he does. He's got really good vision. His vision takes him a lot further than what he could do. So um, I really hope someone else steps up. I think Gainwell has got a lot of talent. We just haven't done enough with him this year. I think he could have done a lot more. Like I said, he had all the touchdowns. Miles Sanders didn't have a touchdown this year. Not all the touchdowns, but you know what I mean. Um, so... I'm happy for Kenneth Gainwell, year two for Kenneth, and, uh, you know, a big year. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. You know, Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, you know, Jay's, you know, Huntley's another one. You know, Huntley's another guy that we've had on this roster. It's, he's a good running back, too, but problem is, you know, he just doesn't get playing time because it's a loaded backfield right now with the Eagles probably drafting another running back this year. I highly doubt it because I think you, just in case, have to draft another guy, a good running back. I don't know if they're looking for a bruiser or somebody with a little bit of elusiveness or both. I don't know what they're kind of looking at right now. I don't think they brought in a running back on a pre-draft visit so far, so we'll see. But what I can take from, what I can take from Kenneth Gainwell is makes guys miss. Uh, you could pass the ball to him. You could throw to him in the backfield. I mean, you could do almost anything with him. Almost make, He pretty much nine out of ten times makes the first guy miss, has a little bit of physicality to him to get those first downs. He's a hard runner, good vision. Like I said, the vision is probably the best thing about Kenneth Gainwell. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I'm I'm excited to see what he does this year in 2022 and, and see what he brings to the table. So, um, like I said, this is me saying that it, my, it, even if Miles Sanders stay, stay, you know, stays healthy, healthy I think you know the Eagles have to think if they're going to give him a big contract or not because I'm not into paying running backs Miles Sanders is one of my favorite players on this team but for me it's hard for me to say that he's going to be here unless he goes on a team-friendly deal but come off a rookie deal most guys want to try to get the bag unless he doesn't have a good year then maybe the Eagles can take advantage of that situation but until then I want Kenneth Gainwell more in the passing game more, you know, in the backfield. And it just seems like whatever chances that Kenneth Gainwell has, whatever snaps that he does get, um, he utilizes himself really well. And, um, you know, he takes advantage of the situation. So you guys let me know what you guys think about Kenneth Gainwell getting prepared for year two. He's saying he's going to go off. And um, we don't talk about the running back position enough. And I think Kenneth Gainwell is definitely one of those players that's going to be here for a long time. So all that, guys, pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.